If you still consider yourself a beginner with AI and are wondering how to use it in the real world, this is going to be a perfect video for you. As guys, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how you can use AI for ideation. Now, whether you're looking for the next big business idea in 2024, or you're just looking for video ideas to add to your YouTube channel, AI should always first be used for ideation. So be sure to stick to the very end as I'm going to show you both basic ideation prompts and also an advanced ideation prompt. Now, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you being here. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. Yes, it is very overwhelming, and that's the purpose of me creating these AI for beginner videos. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But now let's dive back in on how we can leverage AI for ideation. So when it comes to using AI for ideation, the very first thing I always tell people is you must develop an AI first mindset. Now, what do I mean by this? If you don't know the answer to something or you have a problem, the first thing you should do now is open up ChatGPT, Claude, Google Gemini, Perplexity, any of these free AI tools and start prompting it and just see what happens. Because what would we do before the launch of generative AI to the public in 2022 when ChatGPT was released? We would go to Google, we would bug our coworker, we would bug our boss, sometimes even open up a textbook if we didn't know the answer to something. And now with AI literally at our fingertips, you must develop an AI first mindset and always use these tools for ideation at the very least. So enough rambling, Ryan, right? What does this actually look like in the real world? Well, in this first basic example, let's say, for instance, you want to start an online business and you have no idea where to begin and you don't have anyone that can provide good advice. Well, what you can do is come to ChatGPT and prompt it with something like the following. And I'll leave all of the prompts that I mentioned in the video description below so you guys can access them. Prompt it with this. I need you to be an expert in entrepreneurship and marketing. I'm looking to start an online business that revolves around AI and marketing. Now, you can replace this for whatever industry that you want to get into business with. What are your recommended business ideas if I have no upfront capital and I'm looking to bootstrap everything? Provide five business ideas with a short explanation of why it's a good business to start in 2024. You could definitely add on to this and say, you know, give me a pros and cons list. Or I'm going to expand on this here in a little bit to show you what I'm talking about. But I asked it just for five business ideas. You can ask for 10, 20, uh, but let's start with five. So here it gave me five business ideas. AI-powered content service. I don't know about that one. AI-driven consultant. I actually like this one. This is what I do as part of my business. AI-driven marketing consultancy for small businesses. Basically showing small businesses how to use AI in marketing to improve efficiency, improve ROI. Uh, affiliate marketing website focused on AI tools. I actually have one of those. Uh, AI-based lead gen service, not a bad idea. Online marketing, online AI and marketing course platform. That's not a bad idea either. We see a lot of those out there today. So now let's say I like one of these ideas. Let's do, uh, let's do number two. Let's say I like idea two. Uh, now provide a business plan um, and any next steps on how I go about starting this business. If I can spell here, let's make sure it's spelled correctly. And the idea is you're using ideation to keep expanding on a certain topic. So now it says, here's a business plan to start your AI-driven marketing consultancy, business concept. So it gives you an objective, target market, value proposition, market research and analysis. So it gives you some service offered, revenue model, marketing strategy, operations plan, financial plan. And then it gives you the next steps here, right? Create a website, define your niche build a strong online presence, et cetera, et cetera. And you can just keep going on and on with this. And then you could ask it something like, uh, great, now provide five ideas for a business name that is relevant and catchy. And again, another ideation prompt as I keep expanding this. AI Growth Catalyst, Smart Pulse Marketing, Neuron Marketer, Algo Wave Consulting, Quantum Edge Marketing. Some of these actually aren't too bad. You can even go further and say, generate me a business, a bio, generate me a business logo, help me generate the wireframes for a business website, on and on and on and on. Using AI for ideation. This is just a very basic example. And that's why I wanted to show it towards the beginning of this video. But I hope you guys are starting to catch on. 
So let's do another real world example of how you can use AI for ideation. So obviously I have my Ryan Dozer YouTube channel and being transparent with you guys, I struggle often with coming up with engaging and new video ideas without relying on AI to help me. And think about this concept really quickly and how it can apply to you. Let's say you have your own podcast. Let's say you're a small business and you need help with social media post ideas. Or maybe you have a YouTube channel and you need help with video ideas. Maybe you need help with blog post ideas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see where I'm going? going with this using AI to help you come up with content ideas for whatever for whatever you're working on. And so what does this look like with a prompt? So in this example, I'm going to use the following prompt. I need you to be an expert in YouTube content marketing and ideation. I have a YouTube channel focused on AI tutorials and I need your help. Now obviously you would replace this for whatever your scenario is. What are some video ideas that an audience interested in AI would find valuable and willing to share or subscribe to my channel? Provide a bullet list of 10 video ideas. And I also added this too at the bottom. I said, browse the internet for best AI YouTubers to see what other creators are doing. Now I'm gonna click enter here and let's see what it comes up with uh, now that it's browsing the internet. So it says, based on what successful YouTubers are doing, so then it gives me 10 ideas and then it has a little explanation of why it recommends that idea. So it says AI tools you can use right now to boost productivity. That's a good idea. Breaking down the latest AI research papers. That sounds kind of boring to me. How to create your own AI chatbot, top AI trends, AI in business, AI powered marketing hacks, uh, best open source, AI video games, yada, yada, yada. So let's say, for example, I like one of these ideas and I want to roll with it. Uh, let's do Let's do number one. So say I like idea one. Now... Help me generate an SEO optimized title, description, tags, hashtags, and anything else that would be helpful. Let's just start there. And I know I misspelled some things. I'm just doing this on the fly. And so right here, it says top seven AI tools to boost productivity in 2024. It gave me a little description, suggested tags. It gave me some hashtags. I wouldn't recommend using this many. But you guys get the idea. Additional optimization tips, thumbnail, call to action, chapters. You could even say something like, uh, help me with the hook at the beginning of my video uh, to increase retention. The hook is one of the most important parts of YouTube videos. So then you can ask it to help you generate a hook. Are you tired of juggling endless tasks and wish there was a faster way to get things done? I'm gonna show you seven AI tools, yada, yada, yada. You can even ask it to help with a thumbnail, right? It has Dolly, so it can generate images. I'm not gonna keep going on with this example, but I hope you guys start to understand where I'm going with this as I keep rambling, is that you can take one little prompt here, ask it for video ideas for YouTube, take one of those video ideas, ask it for ideas on titles, descriptions, thumbnails, hashtags, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is just another really useful example of how you can use AI for ideation in the real world. So I hope you guys found those first two examples valuable. And there's a million more just like that that I could do. But to keep this video somewhat short, I'm going to show you one more advanced ideation prompt that I've used in the past. And in order to do this, what you need to do is go to answerthepublic.com. I'm actually going to sign in to a free Google account. I would suggest just doing a free account. You can do the paid one if you want. But in this example, I'm just going to use a free account. And what this tool does is it's essentially a keyword research tool where it can look at Google, Bing, YouTube, TikTok, and Amazon and see what other people are searching, the top searches, I mean, on these platforms. So what you want to do here is enter a topic, brand, or product, and you would enter whatever your niche or industry is. I'm going to do chat GPT, and I want to see what people are searching for when it comes to chat GPT on Google. And then I'm going to click search. And then what this is going to do is it's going to come up with questions that people are asking on Google related to ChatGPT. So I'm going to skip ahead after this output is complete and then come back. All right, so here's what my dashboard looks like for Answer the Public based on ChatGPT. Long story short, it gives me all sorts of data of what people are searching for and what questions they're asking on Google related to ChatGPT. Now, this graph looks very confusing, don't get me wrong, but that's not important here. All you need to do is click Download Image, and that'll download this image here of this graph. And then take that image, drag it to your desktop or save it wherever. Let's see if I can do it here. Yep, so there it is right there. And then what you need to do is come back to ChatGPT, 
click this little icon here to attach that image. So I'm gonna click upload from computer and it looks like the image is right here. Let's attach it. And then what you wanna do is prompt it with the following. And again, I'm going to leave this prompt in the video description below. This is where it can get a little confusing. And I'm gonna paste this prompt right here. And the prompt reads the following. I want you to help me find useful topic ideas for my YouTube videos. For context on me, my business, and the type of content, here's more background info. And here's all the background info that I provided it just to give ChatGPT a better understanding of who I am and what I'm trying to do. And it says, I've attached an image of a wheel, which includes the most search for questions about chat GPT and AI. Based on this attached image, I want you to come up with 10 useful content ideas based on these questions on the wheel. Never use colons, semicolons, or hashtags. I'm actually just gonna delete that. That doesn't really make sense. So I'm just gonna click enter. And now what this is going to do is it's going to use its vision capability, analyze the image, and take what I said in the prompt and generate me more YouTube video ideas. So here it says here, based on the channel and that wheel, here are 10 ideas. How ChatGPT works, a beginner's guide to AI models. That's a good idea. Best uses for ChatGPT in everyday life. That's a really good idea. ChatGPT versus competitors. Can ChatGPT replace your job? The truth about AI in the workplace. How to make money using ChatGPT. Everyone wants to know that. That's a good idea. How to use ChatGPT for content. I have videos already on that, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go through all of these, but... That is the advanced way to use AI for ideation is use a tool like Answer the Public where it literally scrapes Google for the most asked questions in this example of trying to get more video ideas for my YouTube channel and then come back to ChatGPT, upload that image of all this useful data, prompt it with something like this, and now it's actually using real data of people that are searching for things and giving me ideas based on what people are already looking for instead of just me guessing and doing things on my own. So that is a more advanced way to use AI for ideation, but I hope you guys are following along and can replicate this to whatever you are doing. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you if you've made it this far, and I truly hope this video helped you learn how to use AI for ideation, both on a basic and advanced level. Now, if you have any further thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, happy to answer your questions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it valuable. But most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.